I always assumed that all art is priceless, you know, even kids' art. And if you approach it from that standpoint, you, you, you know, get over the, the dollars. It took me actually a long time to realize it, but I, I know I have a, a strong caregiver component to my personality as far as my family and friends. And my job at the Art Center was caregiver for the collection and the people involved. So it was, it was just a, an unusual but perfect fit. It's extraordinary. The quality of what the Art Center has put together is, is phenomenal. And today, I mean, there are over 4,500 drawings in the collection. You know, everything about the way I've always worked is sort of like I disregard the rules, I make up my own, or I don't care about the instructions, or you know, whatever. I've done it my way. Well, my um, creative world, I guess really began in my childhood. I started piano when I was eight years old, and I studied through three years of college. But then painting entered the picture, and painting was my first focus, but I really liked working with clay. And so I, I focused on that for a little while. Then I fell into enamel and cloisonne enamel for almost 20 years, and then I transition to working on paper because I worked with the drawing collection and I focused on works on paper with water watercolor and water color crayons and water media gesso and gouache and layering and all of that um, and that's that's what I'm currently working on and I would work at the art center I would come home and I would work until I made myself go to bed and I realized that uh, you know many artists work with discipline every day in the studio. They have a regular schedule and they're in the studio and they're producing. Well, I had a full-time job and then I was trying to make art as well. And I beat myself up for a while and then I finally realized, no, I'm working visually and mentally every day. I'm taking in information. It's coming in from all sides. Mm -hmm. and. I reach a point where I need to release some of that information. And it comes out almost like an out-of-body experience. You know, that, that was one thing about working in a museum that was so attractive to me. It is a nonprofit world, and they mean it seriously when they're talking about salaries and money and all of that kind of thing. But there's more to life than that. And I feel very fortunate that I found a world where I could have passion and care about what I did. Everything about my life, I think, has been creative, and uh, I think my approach to dealing with the collection at the Art Center and with the staff and with the major patrons and uh, artists that we, you know, dealt with over the years, I think that's creative as well. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of a magic world. Um, been real fortunate, I think.